Hey everyone, how you doing? Um, just waiting for Will to come on. Um, we are here today to talk about two things. Fitness mindset, um, how to get your head straight so that you get this thing right. And then later on we're going to talk about uh, waters, uh, what to drink besides waters. So there is Will. Now let me see if I can just bring him on here. Oh, I hate doing this. Let me see. And... Okay, you should have got it. There you are. What's hey, up? Bro. How you doing? Your head's cut off. There you are. <laughs> What's going on? How's everybody doing today? Uh, it's been a, it's been a rough couple of weeks. Today is good. <laughs> yeah, today is good. Today is good. Um, yeah, it's been a while since we've been on. About maybe about three weeks. Yeah, yeah, it was. Well, yeah, it was about four weeks ago when all that went down with me, and I quit doing videos altogether. So, you know, but it's good we're back on track. Yeah, so. I'm glad we're back. I'm glad we're back. Awesome. So, fitness mindset. Go yeah, for so it. Today we're going to discuss um, fitness mindset. Oh. Uh, hey, uh, introduce yourself again first for those who uh, just started watching us. Uh, sorry, sorry. For uh, if you are uh, first time watcher. Um, my name is Will. Um, I'm a personal trainer and online fitness coach, boxing coach, um, et cetera. Um, today we'll be f discussing uh, the fitness mindset, how to stay on track, um, things you need to do to, uh, to achieve your goals um, with this fitness journey. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess um, first, everyone knows what they have to do to uh, get in shape. You know what I mean? It's, um, Keep moving, work out, eat quality foods, get quality sleep, and manage your stress levels. And um, basically, those are, are the four steps to stay healthy, um, to be fit, and things of that nature. But uh, somehow, it's hard for most people to do. It's hard for most people to uh, do that stuff. So the first thing um, I suggest uh, to have a fitness mindset is you have to figure out your why. Why are you trying to lose weight? Why are you trying to get healthier? Or whatever your goal is, you have to figure out your why. And um, uh, a friend told me a long time ago, with anything, um, you have to find a why that makes you cry. So someone why could be just to lose a couple pounds. Um, it could be to fit in that dress that they uh, 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 wore about three years ago. Um, it could have just be, be just to look better, but, um, you have to really dig deep to find out why, why you're doing what you're doing, why you, um, if you're getting up early in the morning, five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning to go work out, you, um, you need a strong enough why to get you up that early. If, if you're going to, if you went from eating a bad diet to now eating a good diet, you need a strong why. So why are you going to stick to that that good diet? Why are you going to stick to those quality foods and not go back to eating fast foods and uh, other stuff? You need a a strong why for for that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you need a strong why for that. Um, and I know life happens and uh, sometimes we fall off track. But if you have a strong enough why, then it'll be. Uh, it, it won't. Sorry about that it won't be so hard to fall off track. If your why is strong enough, you'll be able to push through whatever going, whatever is going on in your life, whatever adversities you have, um, whatever problems are going on, you'll be able to push through that so you can stick to your goals, stick to um, working out three or four days a week if that's your goals, or eating quality foods and managing your stress levels and getting quality sleep. Um, yeah. So that's uh, one, just, just having a, uh, a strong enough why to do what you said you're going to do. Right. Next, next thing is just being committed. You have to be committed. Um, and that's kind of hard for us to do, you know what I mean, as, as humans, um, especially with something that you aren't used to doing all the time. But uh, being committed, you have to be committed to what you said you're going to do long after that motivational feeling or that excitement feeling wears off. You have to be committed to that. So just started. like... Uh, so I couldn't hear you. I said it gets tiring. Yeah, yes, it, it, does. it does get kind of tiring. Um, it gets tiring, mm -hmm. 
And a lot of time, you, a lot of times you don't want to do it, but you have to have the end goal, in, the end goal in mind. So if you have the end goal in mind, you have a strong enough why, and and that will help you be more consistent. So um, yeah, just have the the end goal in mind. Uh, make sure you're consistent. Um, I mean, make sure you're committed to what you said you were going to do, uh, even after like that motivational feeling and all that wears off. You you have to be committed. You, you're not going to reach your goals. You're not going to um, have your dream body, or you're not going to get healthier if you're not committed. If you're just doing it maybe once a week or here and there, or when you feel like it, you have to be. You have to be do it even when you don't feel like it. So you have to be committed to that. You have to be committed to what you said you was going to do when you first made these goals in the first place. Right. Second one is, I mean, third, number three is to be <laughs> persistent. You, you have to be persistent. Um, yeah, you have to be persistent. You have to press through. So a, a lot of times when people first start working out, they first start eating healthy, um, they don't see any, res any results, maybe in like the first two or three weeks. And that, that that's kind of, that, kind of, that, that can kind of get you down, kind of make you want to stop. But you have to be persistent. You have to keep going, keep going, keep doing, keep doing the activity to help you reach that end goal, to help you uh, reach the, the end. So, yeah, you should be um, persistent. You have to press through. You can't let outside stuff stop you. So you have to be persistent. So, again, number one was have a strong why. Number two was be committed. Number three is to be consistent. I'm persistent, sorry. Number four is to be consistent. All right, so you have to be consistent. Um, um, you have to just keep doing it, keep doing it. You have to uh, stick to that routine, stay, stay eating healthy, stay working out, um, and being consistent like there, there, there's – like I said, there's uh, outside distractions and stuff like that that could waver, waver your consistency. But again, all all of these steps are in line with each other. Um, if if your why is strong enough, then you will be committed. Then you will be consistent. Then you will be persistent, and you will reach your goals. So everything comes back to your why. Everything comes back to why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Um, your why will make you get up in the morning. Um, when you're tired. Your why will make you meal prep when you don't feel like it. Your why will make you eat healthy when everyone else isn't eating healthy. Your why will make you go to the gym even when your gym, your, your gym partner doesn't want to go and, and won't come. So, um, like I said, everything Never starts... Never a partner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. They don't show up. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times they don't know. But, yeah, your, your, your why is, is the, the core. And um, of the fitness mindset, your why is the core, and not even with fitness, that's with any aspect of life, any anything you're trying to achieve, anything you're trying to be better at, anything you're trying to reach. Your why is the core of that. If you have a strong enough why, then everything else will fall in line, and it'll be easier to reach your goals. Yeah. Right. I always tell people too, you know, write down their why. I actually have mine yes. written in a notepad. It's actually in my notes in my underneath my um notes on facebook so okay, okay. i'll tell people here's my why this is why i am like i am and people don't understand it they're just like you know how come you can't come to the party or how come you can't do this or how come you can't do that or you know why don't you eat this or why don't you eat that and i tell them go read my why that yeah, this yeah. is that because i i don't want to have happen to me what happened to my mom and other people that I had to watch them basically deteriorate between before my eyes. I, I don't want to do that. So yeah, it, it does, it does take a strong why. And sometimes that uh, fitting into a dress isn't quite the strongest why. And it has to be about you too. Yes, it's, it does. You know, it does. when the husband wants you to lose weight or somebody else says, you know, you know, they want you to lose weight or you're doing it for the wrong reason. You really, really do have to have that strong why. Yes, yes. And I just encourage everybody. Um, I know everybody wants to lose weight and stuff like that, but fitness isn't all about losing weight. It's about being healthy. It's about yeah. living a healthy, quality life. So um, if you're healthy, then other aspects of your life will be healthy. But if you're not healthy, then that it, it creates a domino effect in everything else you do in life. So, 
yes, losing weight is good. Um, uh, uh, looking nice on the beach is good. But ultimately, you want to live a healthy life. And that comes along with being, that, that, that comes along with the mm -hmm. fitness mindset. It's yeah, I always, tell, I always tell people they want to be healthy inside and out, and more so yes. on the inside. Outside's yeah. great. You know, if you look great, that's wonderful. But if you're not healthy inside, you might as well forget about it, you know, because right, right. you're just, just going to end up with diseases. And yeah, it's all about, you know, quality of life and not the quantity. You want you want to you want to live a good life. You want to have fun. You want to do things and you want to be healthy and you don't want to be yeah. sick. I mean, you could be they always show those ones, you know, the 70 year old bodybuilder and then the 70 year old in the wheelchair, you know, on oxygen. Yes. Which one do you want to be? You know, exactly. I'll do the bodybuilding. Right. <laughs> You're right, you're right. Yeah. So, hey, Vanessa, how else? you doing? Hey, Caroline. How you doing, Vanessa? Hey, guys, if you have any questions, let us know. Will's talking about the fitness mindset and, um, you know, your why and why it's so important to have a good why. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we got, we got, your, we got your why, um, commitment to the program. Yeah, Yes. And it is, guys. It's not. It's not just about. Hey, I go to the gym three times a week or five times a week. You can go to the gym all you want. If you're eating crap, forget about it. You know, right. you have to eat clean. And when we talk clean, we're talking cut out all that processed garbage. It's so bad for you. So, what else, Will? You got anything else on that? Oh, uh, I just want to say, like, a lot of people don't understand with eating clean. Like, it it really it clears your mind. It gives you more energy um, is, you know what I mean? It's, it's really a direct correlation on the quality of foods you eat and how you act and, and everything else like that. So, you know, um, clean up your diet and you'll see a big change, not even, not mm -hmm. only in your body, but in other aspects of your life. And in your pocketbook. Yes, it's a lot cheaper to eat clean. People, they'll make you think that's the other way around, but when you stop and cut out all that process, you know, $8 for a pizza, and you know how many vegetables you can get for eight dollars, and you know you can make you know salads or souffles or whatever with with the stuff that you buy. But you have to make it. That's a problem. People, you know, they get lazy and they don't want to do it, so they buy the prepackaged stuff. But yeah, you get those chemicals out of your body, and you will start seeing a huge, huge improvement not only in your skin, the way you feel, everything. So. Yeah. Those are um, those are my four uh, things you can do to um, to think about uh, for your fitness mindset. Again, your why, being committed, being consistent, and being persistent. So right. uh, those are my my four top to go to that I'm um, was struggling with uh, over the past year, but I'm back on track now and I got it going. So. <laughs> yeah, it is a struggle. It really is. I mean, it's hard to sit there and say, you know, no, I don't want a piece of pizza or, you know, it really is. And then when you think about it, you know, I always tell my people, they come in and they'll cheated. They went Subway, ate something. And I'm like, don't even step on the scale for 72 hours. Just forget about it. Eat clean, drink a lot of water, get it out of your system. Oh. It really messes with your system bad. But um, anyway... Yeah, anything else, or should we go on to the the what to drink besides water portion? Um, yeah, I guess if, if we don't have any more questions, we can go on to uh, what to drink besides water. Uh, I had a couple people ask me this question, so it'd be interesting. Yeah. Now, now we've gone over waters before, and I know everyone says H two O is H two O, but it's not. It's not people. Um, people that they go out and they buy that smart water and everything, and it's just like, why would you? Wait a minute, Vanessa saying. When you make a change in your health, the way you eat, exercise, because, yeah, it does make you feel good. It makes you really yes. feel good. And once you get to the point where you know what to eat and what does to your body, it's a whole new game changer. I mean, that's why we're going to be talking about the waters and what to drink. Um, I get people all the time when they first walk in, they're like, I can't have pop, you know, soda pop. I can't. What, what am I supposed to drink? And I'm like, water. And they're like, oh. So they go out and they buy these, you know, flavored carbonated uh, waters. And I just, in my last newsletter, if you don't get my newsletter, you should. <laughs> I'm going to put the link below um, to, to opt in. 
it, they, uh, that LaCroix Waters just got a class action file, a lawsuit filed against them. Um, they're using chemicals and one of them is natural flavoring. We went over natural flavoring too. Uh, natural flavoring, one of them is a chemical that they actually put in cockroach killer. And wow. now they're getting sued. So go figure, you know. Remember people, natural is not natural. Citric acid is not a natural thing anymore. I mean, you really have to know this stuff or you're, you're killing yourself. So what to go and do if you, you know, if you want to get healthy and you want to, you're at the gym, you're trying to get healthy and you're trying to get this done and you're sick and tired of water. And this is so easy, guys. You're going to love this too. You have to buy a few things, but they're not that expensive. So my favorite, 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 favorite go-to is this, this thing is so cool. This is just a glass jar, but in the top, it's got a little tray. So what you do, this, this tray unscrews and you can put in either your loose leaf tea or tea bags. Tea bags don't work as well though. So you put that in and then you stick it back into the jar, fill it with water and close it up. You can use hot water in this and make tea right away. Or you can use this tap, you know, filter tap water, stick it off to the side, let it sit there overnight or whatever. And then you've got your little like, like sun tea. Okay. This is, this is my favorite, favorite. This is so good. Um, so if you don't want to do it that way and excuse us, because I've had this for ages. I love this thing too. This is an infuser, and I have it in a picture. They, they make it in uh, glasses like that also, but I have a picture because I drink a lot of water. So, <laughs> so you screw the top off, and it has a filter that's in it. And what you do is you fill that filter with um, herbs and fruits, fill the pitcher with water. It's got a ma like a masher thing. You mash it down, and it infuses the water with flavor. So you can uh, do one of my favorites is um, parsley, cucumber, uh, lemon, and ginger. And not only is it tasty, but it flushes out your cells like crazy and helps you lose weight. So that's my, my second one that I like. And of course, my third one is, and you don't have to, you can use any jar or whatever, but I got this one, a little spigot at the bottom. Make yourself some sun tea. Sun tea is awesome. You can use herbal tea. You can use regular tea, whatever you want to do. Um, don't use a loose leaf in that because there's no filter. That's my third favorite. And then, of course, if you must have to, um, get yourself, and I, I hate I hate to, like, uh, give a shout out to anything like this, but I'm going to do it only because people ask. Um, this is a CO2 cartridge. And they make things like the soda stream that you can uh, make your own carbonated water with. Now, carbonated water, they, they'll tell you, oh, it, you know, it's bad for you. you. It's not really so much the carbonated water. Um, carbonated water will like eat at your teeth if you drink a whole heck of a lot of it. But it's really, really not that bad unless you have like irritable bowel syndrome, um, an internal thing where bloat like gas, because, you know, as everybody knows, if you drink a pop or something like that, you know, you, you burp a lot, but you can make your own carbonated water. Then for flavoring, just take like a lime or a lemon or a tangerine or whatever and squeeze it into the water. You don't have to go with all the chemicals that takes out the citric acid, the phosphorus, the caramel colors, all this stuff, the aspartame, all the stuff that's going to, you know, harm your body and actually give you cancers and other things, diabetes, all kinds of stuff like that. So, hey, Scott, Vanessa says, oh, yeah, Vanessa, she says she drinks regular water from her faucet. Yeah, make sure that you filter that water, though, because they put chemicals in there, and uh, one of the big ones is chlorine. They use the chlorine to clean it out, which is great. However, chlorine actually causes bladder cancer, so, yeah, filter that water. So anyways, those are my top ones that I really love. This one, you don't have to go expensive either. I got this at TJ Maxx. I think this was 12 bucks. Um, I got my water infuser there too. Soda Stream, actually, that thing was actually given to me. So um, 
that cost me nothing. <laughs> but the tea is, you know, when you're doing stuff like this, well, the nice part about it is you're not spending, you know, $12, $15 a week on pop. Now you can buy yourself really good tea. This is a, um, I think this one's ginger spice chai. Chi chai chai, however you say it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So it's just like being vegetarian. I can I can buy some pretty good stuff because I don't spend money on meat. But right. yeah, so those I'm those are the things that you can drink. I mean, it's still drinking water. You're still hydrating yourself. It's not really pop. You know, it's not coffee with a caffeine. You know, it it's it's still like you're drinking water, and it's good for you. I mean, if you get some of the, I'll put some of the recipes below too. Got a link if you get my newsletter, you've already gotten the recipes, but um, my website also has the infused water recipes there too. Okay. So, yeah, so that, that's a that those are some of the things that you could do okay. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna check that out. I'm not really into the carbonated uh water, but uh, but I think I might check out check it out, see how it works. You, you, you'd like this, you really okay. would. It's it's oh, it's just so. It takes a while to make it unless you use boiling water, okay. but um, you know, when, once you once once it's got the flavor to it and it's where you want, you take this thing out and you put the lid on, and it's just like you got a sports bottle to go. The only thing you got to worry about is glass, so you can't you know can't drop it. So, yeah, TJ Maxx, gotta love them. <laughs> so, yeah. With that said, you got anything else, Will? Um, no, not really. Yeah, we don't have any more questions. I'm Anybody have a question? Time. Water, your why? Anyone need help on your why? Will's here for you right now. Yes. Remember, guys, make sure it's a strong enough why. It's not that you just want to fit in those jeans. I mean, fitting in jeans is great, but, you know, like Will was saying, it's not all about what you look like. It's about being healthy inside, too. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. Well, I guess no one's got any questions. There's couple of people been on and off and now they're back on again so yeah. yeah all right well guys i guess uh that's it then if you have any questions later on after you rewatch the video um post them below when will and i'll get hold of you and uh if not we'll be back on a couple days yeah a couple days and also um if you found value in this video please like and share it you know what i mean um, if you found value in it pretty sure yes, you know so you found value in it so Please like and share. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good promo. <laughs> oh, what about green tea? Green tea is fine. There are certain times when uh, green tea is not fine. Um, if you've got some thyroid issues, sometimes green tea will mess with it. But yeah, green tea is really good for you. Just stay in your bathroom. You're going to have to pee. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to head out of here. It's been long enough. Um, Will, I'll talk to you later. And all right, thanks for having me on. All right. And uh, we'll, we'll be back in a couple days. And if you guys have, have something you want us to talk about, post it below or, or message us, and we'll talk about that too. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. All right. See you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye, Will. Bye.